Uh huh. Oh, I have. Uh, by the way, I I think we may have went offline there for a second. I don't know what the hell happened. It was from the fucking Nani link. Put us offline. It showed my my OBS reconnecting itself. So I don't know if it fully put the stream off. Is everyone there? Can everyone hear me? Okay. I don't know what happened there, Nani. Nani did something. The good news is we are in the server. 71 people tuning in right now for the semifinals. Thank you. Dre with the first sub of the day, and surely not the last. I don't know. Nani did something. He gave me some... I don't know. Some fucked up link that just took my internet down. I should have known. It's my own fault. Clicking on a link from Nani, I deserve. I deserve it. Four members in for the What Else squad. Grim is in, so we know it's not going to be Annie here, at least on Overflow. Dismissing finals for them. Had 84, then dropped rapidly. Yeah, my, uh, my connection went down for a second there. It was after I tried to load Nani's link there. Everything went to hell on my end. And the stream restarted itself. Putsy Riven audio divno in currently, so it'll be, I'm assuming, Shocks as their fifth. I've actually forgotten who their sixth is. Who is their sixth? Shocks and who? Who are the, is their last? I don't feel like minimizing. No, it's Grim Annie on what else, but what is it for 1H? Tobe! That! Well, there, it's answered. As he just joined the server, so... The big Tobe, Toby, whatever you want to call him, is in. Which is interesting, that makes you think it's going to be, uh, Putsy's going to be attacking then in this case, if Tobe is in. As it... It's probably going to be Divno Tobe D, you would think, and Putsy Riven Audio. That'll be a strong attack for Overflow. I don't know if I like this map pick by what else. I must be honest. I know they did well against KG on it, but I feel like the roster for 1H is actually quite good for Overflow. And where do we put the mid camera? Nowhere really that good to put it, is there? Uh. Well, yeah. Just awaiting the fifth. Everyone clicked in quick like it's a rank pug. Yeah, I think so, Bungie. Bit of an odd pick by, uh, what else? I can only think it's because of... How well they did against KG. Well, this map usually brings a lot more capping, so we'll see. What were the bands? Does anyone know the actual bands? What uh, map bands happened? Did my stream go offline again? Oh no, Matt Bands. What's up, Shocks? Okay, I don't know what happened there. I, I, I hope my stream didn't go down again. Maybe having some connection issues today. 
Anyway, we are underway in these semifinals. 1H against what else coming in now. First map overflow. Jerome on the fallback, picking up the double kill. And we know he will be on attack. As off we go, Grim with the first crowd of the game, trying to leave straight to left, does pick up a kill on a ribbon. Here comes Grim, already near his side on man, gonna be dropped right there, and Divno does return that. Nice try by Grim. First grab of the game almost made it to his base. And that was a good try by him. He's just attacking him much more. I don't think he's been seen just yet. Now he is. Divno. Let's see, let's see what Putsy's doing. We, we're thinking he's going to attack since Tobe is here. And he is. So it is Divno and Tobe on D. Tobe with a rough start. 20 efficiency to start the game. Only one kill, but only a minute in. So I'm sure he'll pick it up. So only, well, two grabs in the game total, both by this guy, Grim, who has it. He's through portals. Jerome's waiting up here on the catwalk. He's going to pick that one up, trying to make it across cat. It's near the halfway point up there. You see it laying right here. Who's going to get to it first? As this flag is still here. And, oh, Grim almost got to it. Looks like Tobe will finally get it, and he does. As Grim, with a couple of close chances early on already, both of his grabs got near mid. As we watch Jerome now, Charlie Ben on the right side. And momentum so far favoring uh, what else? That is for sure. Not a single grab yet for uh, 1H until just now. Putsy, as we watch him stall it up through the portal right here, what's he going to do with it? Does drop it, Cat is going to fall low and be returned. So, pretty good start to the game here. What else with the couple of close chances, but it remains 0-0 two minutes in. One in through portal, you see Putsy falling back on him. Right there. So this should be a pretty strong attack on paper anyway. Putsy, Audio, and Riven. But so far they only have just the one grab. Grim, this is a third already. He tries to drop it down low, killed by Putsy though. And Jerome waiting on the cherry. And goes back the same way. That's going to be taken down as well. What's next map? Next map is... Um, oh my god. Acrony. Thank god, Shocks. I, my brain just died there. I could not remember. Riven, he's trying to leave it on the right side here. Does get a kill on his room. And has one cover here with him. Here comes Riven. Trying to make it to his side. Audio picks that one up. and picks up a kill on a Riven. Into his base here. Two behind him. But he's got two cover with him. And and Audio might pick up the first cap of the game here. They're under their base. And it is scored by Audio. And they do train the pickups right there. And pick up the first cap of the game after it was early on. Uh, what else with the close chances, but it is a 1-0 advantage after some nice team pickups. Right there is Putsy going to drop that one low mid. That one's returned. Jerome in the meantime, he's trying to drop down low. He's all got a couple cover right there. Grim, he picks it up. He's going to die low, and that one is returned. So first cap of the game going to 1H right there. And unfortunate uh, start after... What else came out looking better, to be honest with you? Putsy going to go through Portal and stall a bit. He's going to drop it back, but Mystical was anticipating that move and does pick up the return this time. Let's see what Audio is up to. He's going to go through Portal, drop it all the way. He's going to switch it up to Main, and that's a key shot at a Finals right there. If he doesn't make that shot, that's going to be in their base Main and likely a 2-0, so... Nice shot. Let's check in with Finals. Looks like he's playing it on the left side D for what else. Pretty good start for him. 41X, 63F. And unfortunately not the start they wanted, but... And if you even look at his D partner, Evo, 48X, 51F. Their defense numbers look quite strong, but it's just one of those things... Numbers on everything in a cap can still sneak out. It only takes a couple kills. And some teamwork to bring a cap home. Yeah, low is tough for sure. You're right about that, Water Cater. It's kind of the quickest way to get to your flag if you can make it and get to the portal. But yeah, there's a lot of spawns down there, and it's easy to cut off, especially when you're walking up a ramp to people that have a high ground advantage over you. So that's that's the tricky part for sure. Mystical is going to try to juke it up to main. Jerome with a grab right here. Trying to answer back for what else. He's going to drop it down low, but... That's a tough way to go, indeed, like we just talked about. 15 minutes left, map number one, five minutes in. 
And it is 1H with the lead at the moment. Comes Jerome, he's grabbing a lot. This is number seven already for Jerome. He's trying to go up right side. Has one here with him and picks up a boost from, I believe, Grim. But he could not pick up the kill on a Divno. Who had a multi there. He killed all three of them. That's unfortunate. And that was a good, good try there. By what else? Jerome nearly making it to minutes. Watch Putsy now. What's he going to do? Straight low. Does kill Evo. He's made it low. Med Putsy. Straight across low. Here he comes. And right after we say low isn't a good way to go. Putsy's going to probably cap it. The flag's right there. And it is scored. And Putsy just ran it straight low there. And that felt a bit too easy. Putsy waltzing across and capping that one pretty easily. And it's a 2-0 advantage for 1H right now. Not the start, what else was looking for, and I kind of worried about this. We talked about it before the map started. The lineup for 1H looks very good to me for Overflow, and we're, we're seeing that right here. Really strong attack they have with this setup with Tobe, Tobe and Divno on D. Allowing Putsy Ribbon audio uh, attack is, that's really strong. Putsy again, once more gonna go low, does pick up a kill on one of them. Oh, nice double kill on a Putsy, as soon as it was low again, picks up the multi on the finals. Oh, it's gonna be killed through the portal, nice shot by Mystical, it's gonna be dropped near the flag stand. They're desperately trying to get to that, Audio does pick it up and scores it. And that's a 3-0, and it's starting to fall apart a little bit here for what else. Putsy just waltzing out low with ease, seemingly, and 3-0 now, early on, 13 minutes left. So on a map like Overflow, there is time, but uh, obviously not the start that what else was hoping for here. That looks so easy. Indeed it did. It looked a little bit too easy. It was a nice run, though. He made a nice multi down low. Jerome trying to go low himself here. Does get body bought to by Grim, but here comes Jerome into his low. They got to convert this one, you feel like they have to. And Jerome going to watch. Oh, what on the flank stand. Audio, and it's audio. Rick fucking wall is audio, and my god, Jerome is probably screaming at his team right now. He can't be happy about that. It's no one new. He was in the base, but Mystical is countered, and he's got one back into his base on the left side. Can they pick that one up? Finals did briefly. It's going to be laying there, and returned by Riven. That's two flags back-to-back -back lost inside the base of what else, and what a save by audio. That's a tilter for sure. You feel like what else needed to convert that one just to give themselves a bit of positive momentum in this game, and that is uh, unfortunate for sure. Audio must have snuck in through the back. No one knew he was there and killed Jerome as he came through the portal, so. Unlucky, but Jerome's had a hell of a game on attack, I gotta say. Up to 10 grabs now. Brought a couple to his base. They have not been converted, but Jerome's playing really well himself here. As he's going to grab again, it looks like. And here he comes. Got one onto him. Divno, no shot on him, but Audio was there on the fallback. Yeah, Tox, I tend to agree. We did talk about that before the game started. Um, the, the overflow pick seemed a little bit questionable. Not so much because I think what else has a bad team for it. It's more so that the roster of 1H looks really good for overflow. And we're definitely seeing that here. And I think it was the perfect choice on a map like Overflow to bring Tobe in instead of Shocks to allow Putsy, Riven, and Audio to attack as Overflow is all about the attack pressure. And the stronger three on attack are generally going to be the ones you take here as Jerome. Nice double entry on the grab, but bounces it up to his death as Divno was waiting there. Still time, though. The, the thing with Overflow is it can really turn it into a kind of a clusterfuck where you can't get in position for long stretches of time and lots of things can happen, so it is possible for a comeback. They are fortunate that it's Overflow down 3 and not something like Dooku or Broken Limits here. As Audio was finally seen, by the way, trying to go through Portal and was killed. He was stalling for some time there. Which isn't a bad play. Oh, Putsy actually picked that one up through Portal and is stalling up some more. Now he drops it down to the catwalk, picks up a call to Mystical, and here comes Putsy into his side now. He's going to drop it to the main. Oh, nice shot by Jerome! Can he return that? He does! And that's a big fucking return out of Jerome right there. If Putsy converts that, there's surely no hope. And that's a massive save as Putsy was about to enter his Portal. 
after a nice run up through catwalk right there and Pudgy has been an issue for the defense here of what else as he's getting out pretty easy right now but that's a big time save out of Jerome as we're watching Riven currently he kind of seems to be playing kind of a mid uh, support role here as you see him just kind of rotating between the front of 1H and going back to his base to help as he tried to support there Putsy is here on the chair you see Riven trying to cover him and Putsy through the portal he's going to be shot by miss that's going to be laying down there Riven I think is still alive in there he might pick it up I wonder no he just died actually he just died Grim did pick it up Pretty good pressure, honestly, by the three of, what else, 13 grabs for Jerome, we got eight for Miss, and seven for Grim. And it's really mainly Putsy grabbing on the side of 1H, Audio with five, Putsy has eight, but only two for Riven. So Riven does have the luxury of playing more of a mid support role, as they do have that lead, which is going to make it a bit more difficult. Watch Jerome try to get in there again. Does pick up an entry kill into Toe, but tacking in on the right side here. Gonna come around the back. Putsy is grabbing right now. He's dead though. Jerome's gonna try to cover Mystical right now. Is it Mystical did get out through main? Oh so close. Divno just there, and there was one there to support just a, a second too late on that cover. I believe it was Grim, and he has the flag now. Died right as he went through portal. Eight minutes left, still possible. And on this map, you can't push a four attack or anything like that too quick, or your flag is just never going to be there. We're watching Putsy now. You see him defending uh, as well, helping out his base. Just waiting for people to come through the portal. Now he's going to attack in. Here comes Putsy. He's going to grab it again. Number 10 for him. And was waiting for finals. He knew he'd come right there. Gets the kill on him. He's going to drop it back. I think he was... No, that was his teammate, actually. So I don't think he's been seen here. He has cover right now onto this right side. His cover died, and so will he. Nice attempt there. Yeah, Riven doing a good job in the frags in that mid-roll. That is for sure, and that's his job over there. As we watch Putsy again, going to make it out. Kyle, where is... Where is anyone from what else? They're nowhere. As you see Putsy, he's just going to wait high mid for his own flight to be returned. And Grim has it actually inside his base. So Putsy's just kind of hiding high mid here. Probably telling everyone on his team to return that as quick as they can. As you see Grim Reaper into his base on the right side. Putsy was actually just killed by Jerome. And it was returned by Evo. That's a big time play. As that is the first cap of the game for what else. And it's a 3-1 advantage now. And... That puts them back in the game with just under seven minutes left. They have a chance here. Is Riven going to grab and try to leave at left side, but Mystical was there. Hasn't been returned yet. It is just now by Evo. Yes, it is the first map. <coughs> this is the map picked of what else, and we'll be going to Akrony after this. Jerome up to 15 grabs, by the way, and he did make that kill. On to Putsy during the flag stand off of the turn. Jerome having a great game here. Mystical trying to leave it low. Can they pick that one up? No, they can't. Riven did pick up the double and will return that. Jerome was there to try to cherry, but it looks to me like 1H, that cap maybe made them a bit nervous and feels like they're playing super defensive now. Currently watching Toe on the left side defense. Let's pick up a kill on a Jerome this time. And let's watch the flag run from Audio. He's thought about going portal, but now he's going to leave straight at low. Does have one onto him, but he cannot be hit. Finally is by Evo, and that should be returned. Yes, it is. Grim in the meantime, he's trying to leave out main, but look at all the members there. Nice pickup by Jerome, though. Trying to make it through main right. Ah, oh, Putsy does return that. Finals grabbing, by the way, on the cherry. So Finals perhaps his left defense, and he thought about going left. He does have a cover right here. Now he comes, and killed by Divno, though. And yeah, Finals has in fact left D, so I don't know if they're attacking with 4 or 5. We'll confirm that in a second when we can check what Evo's doing. As Putsy, he's made it low mid. One onto him right here. Killed by Finals, but that might be picked up. It's laying down there. Where's Jerome in the meantime? He's dead, and both legs going to be returned. As we check to make sure, yeah, Evo, Evo is on solo D then, so they are attacking with 4. 
is what else. Trying to get themselves back into this game. It's going to be tough. This is a hard map to solo Dion. But they got to do what they got to do. Running out of time. Five minutes left. It's still doable, though. We'll see what happens. <laughs> that, that's good, you hero. That, that's good. Thanks for advertising that in my stream. That's good. <laughs> 18 grabs for Jerome. Some missed opportunities, surely, on the side of what else. They did early on in the game. First grab of the game, in fact, Grim was very close to his base. His first two, in fact, they had right at the edge of mid. Could not get those across. And then we did see Jerome as well bring a few flags back to his base that were not converted as we're watching him again try to get out low. Can't quite do it. Finals on the cherry. This isn't a bad play, honestly. On overflow, it can be quite good. It's a cherry pick here, and Putsy probably going to st stall the hell out of the clock here. And it is the correct play. Try to kill it sometime. He's going to go through the portal now. I think he was seen there. There was a couple of members. Yeah, was seen. Nice shot on to Evo, though. And up he comes. It's going to be dead catwalk. And let's see what happens with this. See who can get to it first. Finals in the meantime is grabbing, by the way. And looks like that will be returned by Evo in finals. He just dropped the blue flag low, and that's going to be returned by Divno. First map, indeed. Comes Mystical again. Grab number 14 for him. Isn't going to make it very far, so... We're getting a lot of grabs and a lot of cherry picks out of what else but the... Oh, he shouldn't have shot at him. Oh, he's trying to leave a right side here. He does have a cover here with him. Grim Reaper is going to pick up that flag. And they're into their base on the right side. They have to convert this flag. They have to to have a ch any chance here. And he's into his flag. There's two behind him. Shot by Divno. Can they pick that one up? Uh, they're going to try to. Putsy has a counter grab, and that is a clutch counter grab. He's going to leave out through Catwalk. Grim did pick up that flag, but now it's a cluster mode, as Putsy has unfortunately made it into his base. Grim just died. Oh, and Toby returned it, and Putsy. Oh, that's the nail in the coffin play right there for what else? As they could not seal the base in time, Putsy got a counter grab. The kill by Divno onto Grim near his flagrant was key because it bought the time needed for Putsy to grab and get out, and that was quickly returned. And it's all over now. It's 4-1 to one with just over two minutes left. And it's going to be up to what else to try to win on the map pick of 1H now is Audio. Tried to leave out right side, but did kill a lot of time right there. Unfortunate, a lot of misplays, surely, but that's the way overflow can go sometimes. What else has had their chances in this game? There's no question about it. See Putsy in the flagrant now, and this is just going to be locked down from here, surely. So checking with Jivno. Divno. He's done a pretty good job here on the right side D. Finals coming in, perhaps going to grab. And he does, and here he is, but I, I don't believe Putsy has left the flagrant since the fourth cap, and... He's just looking to shut it down now. 20 grabs for Jerome, by the way. He's had a great game himself, but... Just some unlucky stuff has happened as we watch Audio. He's gonna just go straight across into his main right here. They have no idea where he is as they are attacking with everyone. Was killed by Jerome. Near their main right end. Nice return by Jerome right there. It's not going to change the outcome, but a nice return nonetheless. He's Jerome trying to leave on left side here. Nice kill to Putsy. Oh, gets spawned on. Oh... That feels bad. Kills Putsy and Putsy spawns directly in front of him right after he kills him. That That's too bad. Would have been nice for what else to pick up a cap right there. Unable to do it. His audio onto his base. Putsy did pick up that one. And it's a nice pick up and this could be a 5 to 1. And it's... Oh! Nice shot by Evo. He couldn't return that one though. Divno is going to pick it up and convert it. 5 to 1 score now. As they're trying to counter grab out through the main there. That's not going to happen. Putsy. Going to pile on some more for, for good measure here. As he's made it to his base cat. Where's Grim Reaper? He's trying to leave out on the left side. And they don't seem to know where he is at the moment. Might get out here. They do know where he is now, but he's into his base. Putsy just died, by the way. Jerome killed the two of them, but Riven with the pickup. Jerome kills him as well. Let's see what's going on there. Putsy trying to get into his... Oh, no one can hit him. Oh, man. Another missed opportunity. That one's going to go down. Can they return it? See Putsy hiding up in the high mid area now. Smart play. 
As I don't even know that finals has any cover, to be honest with you. There's one, Evo. And they do know where Putzi is. Jerome just shot him. See if they can return this flag and get themselves another cap in this game. Just for the good feels. Positive vibes for second map. You see, who is that mystical? See if he can get Jerome just got it. And here comes finals now. Is anyone going to be in the base? He did not go through portal, surprisingly. Stayed low, a little bit slower away, but that will be scored, but will not change the outcome as it's going to be a 5-2 victory on map number one overflow for 1H. Heading into Acre now, we'll see if there's any lineup changes. Tobe left the game. I don't know if that necessarily means Shox is coming in, but we'll see. And if Shox is coming in, we will know that Putzi is going to defend. Which actually I would anticipate happening as Putzi pretty strong on Heidi here. I will be right back in just a minute. So, can what else win the map pick of 1H here and force a tiebreaker? What do we think? Annie is in, by the way. Grim. Well, Grim, you had a pretty good game. Your first two grabs of the game were close. You guys had your chances. I didn't like the map pick against uh, 1H, but it is what it is. We'll see if what else can uh, find a way to win this one and force a tiebreaker. I think it's going to be tough. I, th I think 1H is going to be pretty good for Akrony. Very good, actually. Riven very strong here on attack. Pussy excellent on high D. So, we'll see. This map 2. Just waiting on the 5th for uh, 1H, which I'm assuming is going to be Shocks. They could theoretically bring Toe back in and run the same setup, but I don't think they will. I think they're going to have Putsy on the high D here. Div no flag and run uh, Audio Riven and Shocks on attack, but we shall see. Let's get the mid cam in position. This is a good spot here. Yeah, Grim, you guys had your chances, but... Uh... Ooh, Annie's got some packet laws going on here. You may have to go back in there, Grim. <laughs> Annie's spiking 200 ping in 20 PL. And he just left the server. Trying the old reconnect, see if that'll fix it. Doesn't look like it has. UK1, this server has issues often. Like, even look at my ping right now, I'm spiking myself. I'm going from 150 to 180, I'm to 120. <laughs> UK1 often has routing issues for North America. Looks like his ping might be stable, at least for now. Get your fist, says Jerome. He's ready to move on. 
to the second map. And what else does not seem happy after that first map? But hopefully they can pull it together and have a good effort here. Well, my ping is still all over the place, but Annie's a stable, so that's all that matters. Not sure what's going on with 1H here. Waiting for two people to join on their side. Does anyone think... Uh, what else can win here on Akrony? I personally can't see it, but... I just feel like the lineup for Akrony is a lot better for 1H, but you never know. Shocks for Tobe, yeah, 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 that's what I figured would happen here. Which means Putsy will be defending this time. He'll be on high D. I, I would assume, anyway, and Divno on uh, flag. There's Shocks in here now. And audio is in. We got everyone in the server now. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one for what else. Really, Gizmo? I can't... That's interesting. It's hard to believe they would start the game without finals on D. But, who knows, that could be something that would, uh... Throw off on H. Who knows, maybe that's the play. It could work. I don't think the 6 has to be used in playoffs. So I think you use whoever you want. Anyway, we'll see what they're going to do. We'll just start off the game with finals and just see immediately what he's doing. I mean, it's possible. I don't think they'll do that. I, I wouldn't mind seeing it if they do, but... No, yeah, we'll see. Let's see what finals is doing. We'll start off with him. And you might be right, or... Uh, it's hard to tell just yet. I think he is attacking. You might be right, Gizmo. Yeah, he is. Good call. He is attacking. Riven with a grab. He is going to make it up high right here. Two waiting for him, though. He's going to try to drop it down to low. Killed by Evo. They haven't returned that yet. You see it laying there. Evo has it now. So let's just confirm. Looks like Annie is trying to track down Shocks right now. Annie just trying to get in position. Looks like Annie is, uh... Flag D. Let's check out Mystical. Yeah, you're right. Mystical, Annie on D. So that's interesting. Actually, no. Mystical's attacking. Uh, Evo, of course. I'm an idiot. Evo. I forgot about Evo. Evo would be the second defender. Yeah, here's Evo here. He's playing down on the low left. Does that mean Annie was actually high D? Didn't look like he was going up there before, but... He's... What is going on? Are they both playing... And he's either just getting destroyed up top and he's never in position, or they're both playing... Down here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's up high now. Okay. Well, that's what's happening. Could work. Mr. Cole with the grab here does have... Oh no! He boxed the dodge! <laughs> Oh, that's a missed opportunity. You saw Jerome was up there waiting for him to block spawns, and Mystical bots the dodge. That is unfortunate for what else. Missed opportunity again. Saw a lot of missed opportunities on the first map. Yeah, let's check out the finals again. Oh, I went past him. Here's finals now. He doesn't have any grabs yet. You are right about that. Two for Jerome and one on miss. So he might be playing more of a support. It's hard to really play a mid on Akrony. I mean, it's a, 
Playing a mid-roll on Akrony is pretty much, you should just sit high all game and try to control the high spawns. That would be the best mid-roll you can play, so perhaps that's what finals you could try to do. Pretty good start for him, 48 Ak, 20 frags in the early goings here. Fuck X console. I'm old school. They don't need that propaganda grip. Yeah, yeah, Finals is definitely playing just to support. You see him falling back to help his D here. Evil did pick up both kills there. And surely the grabbing is going to be a lot less on Akrony than we saw. The constant uh, action on Overflow. So going to be a definitely a slower pace here on the second map. Come shocks with the grab, trying to get up high. Oh, he wasn't going to make that dodge anyway. So <laughs> he was for sure going to fail that. It's a good thing he was shot. So high is always the name of the game on Akrony. High control and run the flag high is all you need to do. Hmm? Oh, oh. I have to wait for this done 15 minutes. What can you bring me? The fries? Or yeah, no, it doesn't matter. I'll get it after. Watching Putsy on the defenses. Comes Audio. This is his first grab of the game. Drops it right side initially. It's going to go back up the lift. Juke both of those guys. What's he going to do? He's going to drop through the hole. Perhaps go high. No, he's going to drop down low mid. Audio is going to drop it right there. There was two there on the return. And Jerome will pick that one up. It's a nice little attempt at juke by Audio right there as we check in with Evo. He's playing left side D. For what else? It was a nice try, indeed. Was a nice try. Drove up to five grabs already. He's, he's had a great match, really. He did a had a really strong game on Overflow, and already up to five grabs here. So you see the yeah, finals. That's what he's going to want to do. He's just trying to control high. And if Jerome can get a flag up there, that'll be the key. But you see Putsy smartly playing up in his high left area to counter that. As finals can't really help much with Putsy when he's playing in that position. So he's kind of rotating around. Okay, so let's watch Putsy. Looks like he's going to come back up. Nope, nope. He's going to drop it down to fight Jerome there. Going to lose that one, but spawns high and is back in position. See, that's why you gotta love Overflow, especially for Div 1 matches. Constant action we had on Overflow, and you see the pace of the game even on a map like Akrony. Imagine it was Broken Limits. <laughs> As we watch Mystical now, that is his second grab of the game. Didn't go far with that one. Finals actually with a grab here. Potsy had no idea, he was crouched, but it couldn't be hit. It's gonna be dropped there and is gonna finally be returned. So finals with a grab. He's been mostly playing a mid roll, but did try to sneak in there for one that time. 14 minutes left. You see him trying to control high, and you, you get the feeling this is going to be a first cap wins here on Akrony. Both teams playing really defensive to start this one. The finals, you see, supporting everywhere he goes. And doing a pretty good job. We'd already up to 50 kills to start the game. Mystical, here's a grab. Trying to leave out right side. Here he comes now. Mystical, they do know his location. And Putsy is going to return that one. That looked promising initially, but he was seen just in time right there. Comes Jerome with his grab. He's going to make it up high. This Oh, was killed by uh, Divno. And that flank is laying there. Finals actually picked it up. And he dropped it down to low right. Nice switcher by Finals. He has one with him. Jerome, I believe. And where is Shox? Shox trying to leave out low left. Both flags out right here. Final switch to his high. Oh, nice double kill. Both flags meeting each other right here. Up towards high mid. They're both fighting through, <laughs> through the alcove right there. And Shox made it to his high. Both flags, unbelievable, are going to make it into their base. Shox actually just died. Audio has it. You see one in here right now. Oh, it does come to kill the drone. One more to tangle with and kills both a mystical. Oh, they had a chance to return there, you feel like. And 
They got to clutch up, missing another opportunity. Both legs get out. Nice pickup by Finals, though. And a big-time flag standoff happening right now. The winner of this flag standoff is likely to win the game, to be honest with you. And how are they going to do it? They currently have Finals holding Evo and he covering. You see Mystical trying to track down the flanker. Nice double kill by Putsy. He was the last line of defense and got him just in time right here. That was the first close try. We, we, let's watch Mystical's attempt once more. He's up the lift. They don't know he's here. He's going to get it. And he got it. Mystical. Here he comes with the cap. Evo. Oh, my. They were so busy on the other side with Jerome that they had no idea that he was coming in there. Mystical. And he just snuck right in there. Then that's massive for what else. They have a lead in this game. And... Their hopes of forcing a tiebreaker might come in right now. Which lowers my hope of being able to eat the Wendy's. <laughs> uh, well done, though. Jerome did a great job. He came in, I believe, through high. And just distracted them long enough that Mystical was able to waltz in there. And return that flag. They had no idea. He's, he has the flag now, by the way. And he's trying to leave it on the right side. And he's going to make it out. He's towards his right low. Where's the other flag? Audio is hiding inside the flag room, actually, of what else right now. They don't seem to know where he is. And what is he doing? Oh. <laughs> okay, they did know where he was. They did, in fact, know where he was. And down he goes. <coughs> oh, my. Well, there you have it. It looks like potentially each team might win on their opponent's map pick. So Let's have a quick look and see if uh, 1H has made any changes due to them being down. It appears as though Pudgy is still on defense. And I suppose this is the right play for now anyway. Still a lot of time left, 10 minutes, but it's definitely going to be tough as... Let's check in with the finals. I'd imagine he's going to be playing basically full third D now, and he is. Yeah, he's not going to venture across unless th they have the opponent's flag out. You see even Jerome up there supporting from high mid, so this is going to be very tricky now for 1H, and I would imagine they're going to react to this pretty soon here and likely send Putsy on attack. Jerome with a grab. He has made it up high, and the nice shot again from Divno. This is how the first cap happened. Oh, oh key kill there by Jerome. Can he pick that up? Was Maybe finals again could be the hero pickup, but everyone's just spawning up there for 1H, so no, that's not going to happen. Nice try again. That is how the first cap uh, got across for what else. It was exactly like that. Jerome got it up high, was killed by Divno from low, and finals with a clutch pickup. And that was quite the exchange through many had against the opposing flag carrier and it turned out to be a flag standoff and again Jerome makes it up high but killed by Divno from low comes to grab an audio does pick up a kill onto uh, Mystical but that flag's going to be dead top of ramp and Evo will return that one now Check him with Evo on defense. Doing a pretty good job. 60 efficiency on the flag D here. He's battling with Riven, who's going to kill him. One in right now, and a nice shot right there to take down Riven. Yeah, Putsy's efficiency not as high as you would like. Let's actually have a look at Putsy. I feel like it's only a matter of time, minutes at most here before Putsy. Uh, heads up to attack as they're just getting dominated by finals uh, as the third defender up there. So I can only imagine the disdain on the attackers. As you see, Shock's Riven Audio only three grabs apiece. 12 minutes into the game. Like, that's that's a tough one. And that was before the full third D. So I can only imagine uh, how long it's going to take before Putsy. And it looks like. Perhaps that time has already come. As yeah, Putsy has left E and is attacking now. So four attack coming in with just under eight minutes left here. 
See, Final's just a pure nuisance up in high mid. No one can get past him. He's just dominating the high area. If Jerome can get a flag up there, it's almost for sure going to be capped. As Finals is just doing a fantastic job in high mid. Just control. Oh, I wanted to go back to him. There he is here. Just doing a great job. Let's watch audio. Try to leave it on the right side. Is accidentally found by Evo. And let's go back to Finals. As he's really doing a perfect job controlling high here on Akrony. Fantastic work. You see him controlling these spawns. And he can also assist when he sees, sees someone coming into their low left, so... Really great work out of finals, and if Jerome or Mystical can get a flag up high, he's going to be in perfect position to cover that one. 102 frags now, 45 ax, 60 F for finals in this mid roll, doing a fantastic job. See the grab starting to happen a little bit now. 4 1 H. Are they all attacking? I kind of don't want to switch off fun. Well, let's see what Divno's doing, just to confirm. I'd imagine he's still on D. Yeah, he is. Divno on solo D, so I'm just killed Jerome. He will eventually attack himself, you would think. Perhaps around the three-minute mark, we'll see. But for now, he remains on solo D. Jerome doing a pretty good job of trying to keep pressure on the base of 1H right here. Quick grab and death by audio. And let's just go back to finals. After the flag run of shocks, which is not going to make it far. Trying to get up high. I don't even think they should try to go high. As the control is there. For uh, what else? Pretty permanently with the work out of finals. And K2, thanks for the sub, my friend. Appreciate that a lot, man. Always appreciate the support here on the stream. Thank you so much, K2, for that sub right there. There's Jerome. Drop the flag down low right. Killing time and buying time, every grab will help his team a lot because every grab that he makes alleviates some pressure off of his own base as members of 1H are going to be forced to fall back. So Nice job by Jerome here, up to 13 grabs now and might pick up another one here as Divno, you see he spawns high, kills him again and here comes a grab. Can he get it up high this time? And there's a dodge, I killed by Divno this time, oh, he did spawn high and one of the rare times when finals did not have high control unfortunately. But nice attempt is, we'll stay on Jerome for now. He's perhaps going to pick up grab number 15 right here. And he will. And he does kill Divno. And up high he comes once more. But, ah, Divno picks up the spawn. High again. Unlucky is. Here comes Riven. Only grab number four for him right there. Putsy. That was his first grab. And he did not make it far. This going to be dead at the top of the ramp. Not returned. It's still laying up there. Watching Jerome try to leave out on the right side here. And they do know he's here, but there's Mystical, I believe. It was actually Finals dropped down to try to pick that up. That was a nice try. Just over four minutes left for 1H to try to tie this game. Or we're going to go to a tiebreaker map here in the semifinals. Let's watch a Mystical. Looks like he perhaps has fallen back to defense himself, and he has. I think we got a full 4D going on here. By uh, what else trying to lock this thing down? Surely it is. And it's only Jerome attacking now, trying to keep pressure on the base. And I'd imagine Dimno is going to have to abandon D. It's, uh, well, pretty soon here. Let's actually just check in with him. Shocks in. They can't get anywhere. This is so difficult. Where is Dimno? I can't get the. Well, let's just watch Jerome. He's going to stall it briefly here. Low right up, perhaps. Could have stalled it a bit longer and went high, but either way. Decent grab right there is... I just want Divno. There he is. He has not left D. And, well, I think he's just leaving D now, right, as we switch. Oh, no, he's going back. He heard someone. It's only Jerome on attack. This is so awkward for them. What do they do, Jerome? He's made it out low right here. Killed by Riven. That's going to be returned. So Divno, you can see he was inching to leave D there, but then Jerome was in. 
So it's it's 4D for what else? It's going to be tough. Is Drone going to grab? Come up high this time. See if Divinal spawn on him again. Not this time. Because Finals is here. But there is one spawn right there. Finals with a big cover though. And it's going to be killed by high mid. Finals has it now. Into the base hive. They capped this. It's all over for one age. And here comes Finals. Oh, it's going to be dropped. Killed by Punchy. Clutch. Go on. It's shots. Massive save out of shocks right there. Keeping the... Hope, even though it's slim alive for 1H to have a chance to come back here. If that's capped, it is definitely over. But big kill out of uh, Putsy and Shocks on the save right there. So that's massive to give themselves a chance. Finals was in perfect position for that pickup and cover. And, but just as he uh, dodged down from his high, was killed, unfortunately for him, as that would have definitely sealed the deal right there. As here comes Jerome once more, and Divno knew what he was going for. A nice shot right there. So you see Jerome this time going to fall back. Started two minutes left, trying to track down shots. He did drop it on the left side there. And I believe it is even Jerome on D now. Still a minute 45. He should probably still try to grab, I feel like. And it looks like he's going to. This is the right play. Because you don't want to allow Divno to comfortably leave the base, force them to fall back here, kill out some time, they already have the 4D, that should be more than enough, as it doesn't look like Divno's here, so Jerome might pick up a free grab, and here it comes, and he's going to leave high, but Riven there on the fallback, yeah, Divno just grabs, so we do know that it is full 5 attack here, for the side of 1H, but just over a minute left here, and this is going to be a tough one to crack. Yeah, Jerome up to 21 grabs now. Great job by him. And running out of time is 1H here. And they're going to have to go to a tiebreaker and win that if they want to move to the finals. As it looks surely like what else is going to lock this thing down. You see so many members inside the flag room of what else right here. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be tough. 30 seconds left. Let's... Let's switch it to Putsy and see if he can work any magic here. And here he comes now, attacking into the base on the right side. He is up the lift, but Jerome is there. And with only 20 seconds left, Jerome will also be in the base for the, for the full 5D. And they're going to lock this down, surely. See if Putsy can get in there. It's spawned on right here by Annie. And that one's going to be killed. And he does kill Jerome, but you see, it's just... It's so difficult with those high drop downs and the lower response to actually get in there. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to as much he fails the lift jump at the end. And regardless, that's a nice job. But what else? Forcing a tiebreaker map. I honestly didn't think they'd be able to win Akron E, but well played. Great job by Finals. In my opinion, MVP of the map. He did a fantastic job on that mid high roll of controlling the top area. And Jerome as well. Fantastic job keeping the pressure on and we will await to see what the tiebreaker map is going to be i'm going to run downstairs and wolf down my dinner i will be right back
Ah, yes, the casting desk. It has not been around since I got the new PC. <clears throat> so what is happening? I'm just trying to wolf down my dinner here. I don't think we're going to switch servers or anything like that. So I, I would imagine they're doing the uh, map elimination right now. Oh, Nani with the update. And for Dooku, is Tack is down too? Thank you, Extreme. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, Hatchet, that is correct. Unfortunately, we'll have to delay that due to tiebreaker. It's going to be his tag. Mm. I mean, between Anfer and Instac, I'm very happy it was Instac, because Anfer is... That would have been so dreadfully slow. So Instac should be a lot better. Oh, really? I'm sorry, I'm still eating, by the way. I hope it's not Amphra. Ah, what's up, Evo? Well played. Audio? I trusted Nani this time, and Tox is never wrong. How dare any of you question him? He knew it would be his tech, and I'm glad it's his tech. Fuck Anfra, that is a boar fest, just like Broken Limits. Okay, I'll be right back in a minute.
Ah, hello, there. Okay, I'm back. Thank you for continuing to tune in. It's been a hell of a match. I know it's uh, late for a lot of you there, but... It's been a good one, so... Worth staying up for. K2 with the OG sub badge. Thanks again, Dre Myth as well, for the subs on the stream. So, Annie stays in, by the way. Gonna go with the lineup that won on Akrony. I actually thought that Grim would come back in for Iztac, because I believe he played Iztac for them in their quarterfinals against KG, but it seems Annie is staying in. Extreme with the big sub. On the Twitch Prime. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support. There's the brick fucking walls. And he's got the OG badge. Thanks so much, man. Same lineup. Oh, wait, no. For 1H, Tobe is back in. Wait, what is happening? Tobe and Shocks are in. Um, I'm losing my mind. Divno's out, yeah. I thought... I thought he would be auto-in and they just rotate between Shocks and Toe map, depending. I am surprised by that. Interesting. So, in this case, it's gonna be Tobe and Putzi on D. They won with Putsy attacking map one. Maybe they should have had, uh... <clears throat> I thought they'd maybe have, uh... Toe back in with to defend with Divno like they did on Overflow. Countdown is on, by the way. And the tiebreaker to see who goes to the finals... ...is about to begin, and it has... Let's just get this thing up here. You actually... Shouldn't give away my trick, I learned it back in Noam, but with this uh, spectator overlay, you must wait until the game has started to keep the proper kill feed, otherwise you get that weird white shit in the right side of your screen, so there you go. Now you know, Evo starting out on the right side D for what else, and safe to assume that Finals is back on defense this time, and he is, here he is now, playing left side D. So, finals, Evo D, back to the standard setup. Annie, Jerome, Mystical, going to be attacking here. So, we'll see how that works out. Let's check in with Jerome. It is, in fact, Putzi on D, as we suspected, with Tobe. Putzi on the left side, Tobe on the right. And we're underway, awaiting the first grab of the game. Just approaching one minute in to this tiebreaker. Looks like Jerome perhaps might pick up the first grab of the game, and he has. And trying to win the one-on-one -on -one against Tobe right here. Tries to drop it down on the left side, but Tobe is going to win that exchange this time. First grab coming in for Jerome there. You see two entering the base. Left side of finals actually killed both of them. So who do we got? Type it in Twitch chat. Who is winning? Is Tack and advancing to the finals? Let us know in Twitch chat right now who you're voting for. As both legs out right now, Jerome, he's made into his base on the left side. Where's Audio? He's low mid right now. He is killed by finals. Jerome's into his base. Finals return the flag. And here comes Jerome. He's perhaps going to cap it, and he does. And I guess you're all gonna, just going to vote what else now <laughs> right after we ask for the vote. What else picks up the first cap of the game? And that was just a good timing there. Jerome, he left out his left side. And you saw there was no one to cut him off in mid. And that is because all three members of 1H happened to be inside the base of what else at the time. They did get the flag out to low mid. But finals with a massive return. And that's a big time cap. And that's going to take a lot of pressure off of what else right here. And Jerome trying to advance to the finals with... Second grab and first cap and a massive one of the game. And 
That's not gonna feel good for 1H here. 20 D now, guys, it's calling for it. Audio trying to answer back for 1H. He's gonna try to leave out low right here, and he's made it towards mid. Does kill finals, he's gonna make it halfway. He's gonna be killed right there. And Mystical, big time return. Lots of time here. 1H doesn't need to fully panic yet, as they are still managing to grab a fair amount here. Audio, as we watch him now, he's already up to three. Only one apiece for Shocks and Ribbon, but they are still getting inside the base, so. By the way, Jerome with the only one with grabs on the side of, uh, what else here? Let's check him with finals for a little bit. Well, let's watch the flight run from Audio. He's trying to leave out low right, and, oh, they're all over him. You see three there. He did have one cover with him, but he couldn't do anything with it. It's Jerome, meantime, trying to leave it on the left side. Where is anyone from 1H? Jerome, he's made it halfway. Can that one be picked up? It, Audio, no, is going to return that. And it looked like a started out like a free run by Jerome once more right there. 53 act by Mystical. What is happening? I doubt this is going to last, but nice nice fragging start anyway for Mystical as we watch him now attacking in on that left side. Picks up a kill on the toe on the entry, but Putsy is going to shut him down. So... What else has the luxury of playing really defensive now with their attackers? And looks like Myst Mystical is going to play that role of just kind of trying to DM mid and let Jerome do the majority of the grabbing here. And keeping that pressure on, similar to what we saw in Akrony, as you see Mystical following, falling all the way back to his flagrant. So, basically is already third D right here as they do have the lead. Let's see what Annie is actually up to. We haven't looked at him yet. Good start for him, too. 41 act, 22 frags. And is he actually on defense as well? Surely they're not playing 4D this early in the game. Ribbon with a grab. Trying to leave out high right. You see Annie actually fell trying to track him down. Shocks picks it up. He's got two to tangle with. Finals is one of them, and Finals is going to kill him and return it. Yeah, Annie is, in fact, also defense. Interesting. Like they're playing 4D. I, I think that... They actually are. Jerome is solo attack. And that is going to be hard for 1H. And it's so tricky because with Jerome just keeping constant pressure on your base, you can't comfortably push up four four or five attackers. But you kind of have to because how the hell are you going to get out with three against that much defense? And here comes a grab from Jerome. Trying to leave it on the left side. Picks up a kill on its own. Here comes Jerome now. We're going to make it left mid. One to tangle with their putsy. Picks up the kill and audio. Going to return that one. That is an early 4D, no question. Uh, but I think it's a good call because it's going to force the hand of 1H. They're going to have to make a decision here. And Jerome is going to make it out right mid. There was one there. Annie, can he pick that one up? Uh, no, he died. Tobe got him. But this is going to make uh, some difficult decisions here for 1H. They cannot... They can't just have Putsy and Tobe sitting in their flag room against only Jerome. I would imagine Putsy is going to leave soon. And go attack him. They're just going to have to leave uh, Tobe on solo D. Which is going to play into the hands of what else, but they have no choice, I feel like, but to do that. You can't keep two base D against only one attacker. Jerome doing a nice job of just keeping that constant pressure in the base. Not worrying about frags or mid. He's just trying to grab as much as he can, and that's the right way to do it. Let's check in with Putsy now. Still remains on this left side D here. It's going to kill Jerome now, but you see... There's going to be no one else coming until Jerome comes back. And there's Jerome now. Jerome gets back so quick, doesn't he? Oh, Mystical actually grabbed. His first grab of the game, but... It, so what is happening? I think what it is... Annie is playing full third base D, basically. And Mystical is playing kind of a mid D. So you might see the occasional grab from him. It's it's basically 4D, but more three base D. One mid is drone or mystical rather gets body blocked a bit there, but did drop it in mid. And he picked it up, and that one's gonna be returned by Ribbon. The thing is though on his tag, you pick up a kill on a couple covers, you can get out mid into your base very quickly here. So even though it is a lot of defense from what else, it is possible. There's a lot of time. And 
it's a good thing for them that it is a map like Iztac, because it at least creates some possibilities to happen. If this were Broken Limits, for example, with this much D, it would be essentially impossible to... Even grabbing would be near impossible, so... It's a good thing for them that uh, it is Iztac. They do have a chance, but it's going to be very difficult, that is for sure. I do question the decision of uh, taking Divno out. Perhaps he just had to go, we don't know. But if he was available and they, they actually benched him here, I don't know if I like that choice, but... It is what it is. We got, like, we got Tobin here with 29 Act. That's not going to cut it. <clears throat> Tobe, by the way, is attacking. Didn't even mention that. Shocks. He's going to make it out left mid here. Did have a cover. Finals killed him. And it's going to... So Tobe... Yeah, Tobe is attacking. So they are attacking with four. And it's going to be Putsy solo D. I thought they would send Putsy attack and have Tobe solo D, but they... It seems they've elected to have Putsy on the solo D, which will make that solo D a bit stronger, but obviously uh, Putsy on attack would have helped in that area, which is where they need it. They need caps here. Seven grabs for audio. He's doing a good job of getting in there and grabbing up to 41. He's playing a nice game here, but getting out is going to be the tricky part. Is an awkward one-on-one -on -one against finals. They're going to be won by finals. Only the two grabs, by the way, for Riven. So Riven having a difficult time grabbing, perhaps just trying to get in there and cover. And here comes Audio with a grab right now, he's going to try to lead out onto the left side, does kill two, but... Two more there, Mystical and Finals, and this is tough stuff. For sure, as we switch it over to Drome, he's trying to leave out- Wow, oh, I get spawned on by Shocks. That feels bad, but... Watch him, he's immediately back in the base, just going as quick as he can to get in there and grab, and that is absolutely perfect way to play it as you are the solo attacker. Doing a great job of that is Jerome, and that's why first caps are so important. Gives you that luxury to play this way, and it really makes things difficult for the opponent, and 1H in a really tricky spot here. Tobe going to finally grab. Is trying to leave it on the right side. No one can hit him at the moment. He is high right. Picks up a cover right there from Riven. And can that one be picked up? Riven has it now. He's going to drop it halfway. But Jerome was there to return it in the first close chance by 1H. They had it near halfway mid there. As Riven did come in with a nice cover. But Jerome was there on the cutoff to take him down. So nice try. Riven is going to grab now. Briefly drops it on the right side. And here we go, two inside the base for three, in fact. And this is, could be a good chance, but you see four members of uh, what else right there. And Jerome, in the meantime, is going to grab, and he's going to try to make it a low mid there. That one's going to be returned. Yeah, it's going to be really tough to get out here. You saw three in for one age, but there was four in response on the side of what else. So that's, that is a difficult one. Let's switch back over to Riven. Perhaps we'll have better luck on the opposite side. Finals doing a, a good job over there on that left side D. Sniping everything down the hallway. As Riven just trying to get in there. And Ed just being one shot seemingly by everyone. Not getting much of an opportunity to make a shot here. Slips is here. So how long until this guy leaves D? That is the question. I feel like what they could try to do before going full 5 attack is... Putsy should perhaps switch with Tobe. And Putsy's going to provide a lot more in attack, let's face it. Tobe not having a good game. 28 act, 54 kills. He's grabbed just now here. But take the risk. I, I know Tobe isn't going to be as strong holding the solo D, but... You're basically putting Putsy one-on-one against Jerome. And that's not utilizing your best player as Jerome gonna drop it to his low left here is gonna be killed there is two behind him that's probably gonna be returned yeah Shocks has it so Jerome nearly with another one and they cannot allow a second cap that will that will seal 
the finals appearance for what else? Surely, if they cop another one here. So, like I was saying, I think what they could try to do is just switch Putsy and Tobe and see if that... I feel like that's going to make a big difference. But as it stands, I think they might just run Putsy on Solo D until time has run down enough that they're forced to running 5 attack. Because let's watch Jerome once more. Going to be killed by Putsy this time. Looks, I think he had one in there with him. Yeah, Putsy. Mystical was actually in the base with Jerome that time. So Mystical pressuring a little bit more. He's been playing mid mostly here, but you see him the odd time pushing inside the base with Jerome. We are watching now, by the way, up to 13 grabs. Shock's doing a pretty nice job with 11 on the other team. Audio with 9. There's number 12, and it was a quick one. Watch Evo on the right side, D. Time ticking away for 1H here. I think it's safe to say they were probably favored to win this match overall. They, I believe, finished higher in the standings and did have a bye to the semis, but... What else? Coming back, they lost the first game... Uh, pretty handily on overflow but managed to uh, pick up a win on Acrony, the map pick of 1H and got the first cap here on his tag, it's been massive and they're in a position 6 minutes away from heading to the finals right now if you watch Strom, he's, he's even falling back to help here now too so we got to check back in with Putsy. Like, look at him. He's sitting here doing nothing. Like, I, with, with under six minutes left, I'd prefer to see, I would prefer to see Tobe sitting here doing nothing. Not Putsy. Putsy's probably their best player, second best player, whatever you want to rank it. He can't be sitting in the base doing nothing. And they finally are in agreement as Putsy is on attack. And let's just, before we check in with that, let's see if Tobe... Yeah, so they did do what I suggested. Tobe has rotated to Solo D. He switched with Putsy, and it's already paid off a quick grab already for Putsy. So I think this is a good choice to at least try. And you look at everyone inside the base for one else. This is going to be tough. Here comes Jerome now. He's got an easier job now. He's only facing Tobe. He's going to make it out right mid here. There's Tobe. Picks a kill up onto him. He's into his base. Onto the right side. Going to be killed by Audio 2 there. Can they return that Putsy? Does return it just in time. That was a close play. If Jerome is able to get one back here and make it a 2 0, it's all over for 1H. And he's going to have an easier time getting out now with only Tobe on Solo D instead of Putsy. So, see if he can do it. Tobe's going to play in that flag stand area. Back with Riven here. He has up to six grabs now, doing a decent job. Started out a bit slow in the grabbing department. He has picked it up. And is fragging well. Has the most on his team. He just needs someone to cover. As Jerome, he's trying to leave a high right, but Tobe got a favorable spawn this time. 16 grabs now for Jerome. As 1H is fine, trying to find any way to crack the four defense of what else. And it is difficult to say the least. You see even Jerome falling back to help right here. And this is really tough right now. Four minutes left. And I would imagine around the three minute mark, two and a half tops, Tobe is also going to abandon D. And we will get the full five attack from 1H trying to keep their cup alive. But it's it's a, it's really hard. They, they have a fair amount of total grabs, does 1H, but they really, nothing has really made it far off of the flag stand. And that's going to be the challenge right now. Just so many sight lines to cut off on this map. So, I think the main one to watch right now is, in fact, Jerome, because he's going to be the one to grab freely. But you see, he's even assisting quite a bit on defense. Tom has been sitting in his flag room doing nothing for the past two minutes. Is that him there? Let's see. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> With Jerome falling back, Tom must have been sitting on the flag stand doing absolutely nothing for... Well over a minute there, and it, it, the 5 attack is on. 1H, 5 attack, and here comes Drum. He's going to get a total free run here, and we'll see, we'll see what he does with it. Starting out towards the left side, perhaps going to stall. No, he's going to go straight for it. Putsy in the meantime, he has a counter grab. Oh, the first promising looking play here. Putsy is going to stall it. Where is Annie? 
They are going to be into their base here on the low side. They don't know where Pudsey is. They have no idea. And Andy has made it to his base. Can they call him? That's returned by Audio. Massive return. And here comes Putsy now. He has cover. He's going to try to leave out a high right mid. He is seen. They know where he is now, but he's into his base on the right side. Picks a cover right there. Going to be killed. Shox has it. Into the base on the right side. One H-way tie the game right here. One on the flank stand. Can they pick him up? And he dropped and died. Audio has it out. It's going to be killed on the flank stand. And it's on the lift. Can they pick that one up? Jerome just died. The flag is still there on the small lift. Riven has it and scores. And with two minutes left... 1H ties the game on a beautiful stall play out of Putsy, and that's why you want to send them. And my god, they pick up the return. Audio did. And a nice run and teamwork across. It was nearly saved. A couple kills on the flag stand. It landed on the small lift. But what, what else? They almost locked it down the entirety of the map, but in the final two minutes, they let it slip away, and we are all tied up. Right here, 1H back in it, trying to make it to the finals right now. And next cap wins, we know it now, minute and a half less. And we'll see who can get it. And it looks like Putsy has returned to defense, by the way. So Putsy back on left side D with Tobe. And you see how well Putsy did as soon as he switched to attack, even going into 4D. This is why I think I... It would have been a lot better having Divno in here to D with Tobe and allow Putsy to attack. Same, I would have went with the same setup that they did on, uh, what? Is Putsy lagging or me? On, uh, Overflow. That was a beautiful, uh, stall location there. Just managed to turn the corner in time that he wasn't seen. And they had no idea where it was, so everyone just kind of tried to support getting the blue flight back into the base of red and it was killed as it was getting near the uh, lower flag stand area and from there good teamwork bringing that flag home and we're tied let's check out shocks a bit up to 13 grabs leader in that department on his team nice double entry right here he's gonna pick up grab number 14 and has a cover with him trying to leave out left side here we go shocks trying to perhaps win the game right here he's made it left mid killed by any across can they pick that one up it's laying there still audio has it but mystical is there to return nice try right there is jerome back on attack 17 grabs make it 18 and mystical only with five, and Annie, of course, with zero. Let's actually check in with Annie. See what they're doing, because they had the lead so early in the game that it was basically 3D from the get-go Annie has been. So I'm curious as to if that was the game plan from the beginning or if he's actually going to be attacking now. He's definitely playing defensive, but looks like he is on attack, so... See if someone else can pick up some grabs in support of Jerome here. Yeah, you see Andy falling all the way back to his uh, base right there. As my phone is ringing, but we'll ignore that one and move along. Here comes Shocks with a grab. He did have, you saw a teammate down there on the left side. It was Riven. But unable to get to him, his finals was waiting up there. You see, that's Riven still in the base. <laughs> or was it Audio? I, I'm not sure. They were both using the same skin. Whoever it was, they were being super annoying up there. I think it was Riven. And that would have worked out good had Shocks been able to get in there and grab. Because they were just controlling that right side lift very well. I think it was Riven. <laughs> Murder call. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Pace has slowed down now, as you would expect. As we are in overtime, by the way. And next cap wins is Andy trying to make it happen right now. Nice shot on Audio. He's made it out left mid right here. Did have a cover with him. And are they there? No. Going to be returned. Tobe. Going to pick that one up. So we stay with Andy. Nice kill on a putsy. Putsy had no idea where he was. Audio has grabbed in the meantime. Trying to leave it on the left side. Nice kill on Evo. Audio, he picks up a boost right here, and he's made a left man. Killed by there. Riven has that pickup as well, but Evo there on the cutoff. Nice little try. Finals is actually grabbing. Jerome picked that one up. Trying to leave it on the low right. Why was Finals grabbing? 
I guess he got an opposite side spawn when their flag got out there and just continued on to the base. As Riven made a nice little boost there and did pick up that flag, but the cutoff came just in time. <coughs> Finals has the same grabs as Annie. Seventeen for shocks and, and uh, twelve for audio in the grab department. Seven for Riven, so clearly the old grab grabbing is is favoring one H. But of course, got to keep in mind that what else did not need to be grabbing for the majority of that game as they had the early cap. Thank you for the follow, uh, Smoke Rates. Appreciate it, man. Audio, gonna grab and die. As the first spawn delay is gonna take effect, by the way, at the five minute mark, we're at 320 now. The first one isn't too noticeable, but it's gonna grow from there and likely to play an impact on who wins this game is Jerome. Trying to leave it on the right side now. Right low he is. Guys, a couple of cover right here. And he's gonna pick one up and Mystical. He's into his base on the right side. Here comes Jerome. Killed by Audio. Oh my. Not a save on the flag stand, but that's inside the base and a massive save by Audio. No question. It looked like what else was going to take the game and head to the finals right there. But in came Audio with a clutch kill and return. And the game continues on. That was a close one right there. Finals, by the way, only 34x. A bit low for his standards, but obviously he's still playing it. Really strong, up to 149 frags. Just watch audio. He's actually made it to his base on the right side. They're going to try to seal it off here. He's into his flag room. Can they seal off the left side? That's the only question right now. It looks like audio's going to score it. And he does. And 1H with the comeback is going to advance to the finals against... Well, we will see. That's not determined yet. But that's got to feel bad for 1H. Or uh, what else, rather. They had the lead the whole game from the 18-minute mark on and just lost it in the final two minutes and then ended up losing it in overtime. So it was a nice comeback by 1H and really a great match overall. Well played to both teams on this one. Unfortunate. You feel like they had it in the bag. It just didn't quite work out that way in the end. So 1H advancing to the finals, congrats to them, and we'll see what happens in the other semifinals on who they face, but that was a great match. Well played for both teams, we're going to head out of here, thanks everyone for tuning in, I know it's late there, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks again uh, K2 and Draymith for the subs on this stream, appreciate it, and take care everyone, we'll see you next time.